Okay, you remember when we did the the tax the tax uh, podcast? Uh, we spoke about how difficult it is to to understand tax, and there are people who are specializing in tax evasion, uh, which is dangerous and illegal. And he said, uh, tax avoidance is not only okay, but it's it's legal. So you are, you are okay to do tax evasion. Now I'm going to give you a case of someone who's an accountant herself who has mastered this art of stealing tax money. Uh, so it was a foreign company. Uh, when, the, when the guy from, uh, 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 from the, from the uh, I forgot, he gave testimony in court. He is from the auditors. I just don't want to mention the wrong one. But it's from the auditors who said they were buying stuff from abroad. And when, they, when it landed in South Africa, they used uh, export fees, blah, 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 blah. But it's just uh, uh, not too complicated, but tax, tax language there. So she was not only defrauding the company, and she was also defrauding tax. So, but this period depended, up, I think, for about 13 years, I think 2004 to 2013. But what what is of interest for me to say in this case is, so this is, 14, 14 August uh, 2023 in South Africa. The reason I'm stating this is mass media, we are, we are used to being told how much corrupt uh, our black people and the, the government states because they are run, generally run by black people. And we've been stating that the media doesn't, doesn't care. It thrashes our black people. Every, every at every opportunity they get here's funny this this case has been i mean this case she doesn't trend i mean i'm just showing you pictures now because you could understand mass media don't want to show you these pictures i'm showing these pictures because i got them from the internet uh, it's a lavish lifestyle the reason she was allowed to get up for for 13 years doing this is because she is white and i'm saying it she got away with this because she's white had it been a black guy had it been and the the hamilton case uh hamilton case the zimbabwean who faked and he went on on a on on, on a convoy to to Devon and other people who who like hamilton the, the other hamilton no no the other one is sam holdings but there's a boy called uh hamilton who lavishly showed his expensive cars and he was he was snapped but these white people also they were lavishly living large and they got well they got napped just now but like i said it took 13 years i don't think anyone could steal over 500 million five no no this is 537 million from a company called uh, metronic uh, pty ltd where she was employed as an accountant so her name is Hilda Hildegard. Uh, she's, she's a white lady, Hildegard Thienkamp. And I insist, it was a family lifestyle. Uh, uh, so she she had she had to front with other businesses just to hide it because she's an accountant. Like I said, uh, let me just uh, see. Her husband and son were initially charged as well, but the charges were dropped because there was no enough evidence against them. News 24 reported in 2018 that Stian Camp, they reported this in 2018, Stian Camp duplicated payments and transferred the money into her late husband's bank account. It was reported that the Hawks had previously seized and attached 11 luxury vehicles, luxury cars, motorbikes, and seven, seven immovable properties, as well as furniture and appliances after her arrest but here's the quick quick one here's the quick one after having stolen 537 million they only recovered 13 million and this is through assets and stuff so not in real cash i don't believe she had 
given away all the money she has stolen. I do not believe that, but this is just this is just me without information because of what is of interest to me is she stole money using taxes. She's white and obviously she was involved with with a family and much more people are involved in this, but she was only napped alone. 537 million rands, but she's the only one who's napped. This case doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but as it unfolds, you'll hear. But like I said, uh, it's another form of, uh, what can I say? The media turning a blind eye. She's not trending. She's not on. She's not on uh, mainstream media for having stolen this amount of money for all these years. Because this case was broken as early as 2018. But still, I mean, just I mean, we know about the Mahashule twins who are stealing money with them and stuff. I mean, we are told about uh, Paul. Uh, no, uh, who's this? Uh, yeah, Paul Mashatile. We also know about uh, the Free State guy with who has twins. All these people, if they say Zuma, they talk about Tutuzani being corrupt as well. So, because to them it can't be one person, and they also attach the value. For example, let me give you an example. There hasn't been any EFF member who was arrested, or not say so EFF member, EFF leader who's been arrested for for uh, for that bank in 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 Venda. But people want us to. To believe that, uh, what is it? I'll tell you now. Uh, Fuma, it's not Fuma, man. Uh, that bank, but I'll show it here. So that bank was looted by largely ANC people and people who were working at municipality. But the narrative that is kept being sold is that that bank was looted by the EFF. This is just shows you how the media can control and fabricate things at our displeasure but they are silent on this one they are silent on markers used because it's not consistent with the narrative they are selling but anyway being that is it may politically incorrect uh, if you want us to keep dishing you this kind of content please assist us and and suggest for us what next to cover thank you very much let's let's wait for uh, to see what is she going to get and if it's only her who's going to go under the rep but today as i said it was just sentencing thank you bye bye